Mr. Uh, Kinnebrew, tell me what you do for a living. Uh, Judge, I'm a professional stage manager. I've been doing it for probably close to 30 years. Radio, television, film, fashion shows, wherever God blesses me. You say in your papers, Miss Ivy, that you were hesitant to hire him as a production manager for your production that you were putting on a play. Why the hesitation? Because in the time prior to in 2019, he was just non-productive with anything. He missed many days. He didn't help with setup. He just didn't perform. You're putting on a play that is pretty near and dear to your heart. So why hire him? After the loss of my 24-year-old son, I was asked by mothers against uh, murdered children, would I please share my story? So I did it through the stage play. And in that circuit, there aren't many parties available. And so he came recommended since we had no one else. What was the agreement that was stated between you two? Am I able to address incorrections? Oh, go ahead. Because, ma'am, when I was first hired, I gave them the dates I was available for the show. They all agreed to it. So that was it. The other things that were said, I'm not even aware of it. Okay, so what was your job description? What was the agreement? As a stage manager, I'm supposed to write blocking, set up the prop tables, any notes, light notes, sound notes. I work cohesively with the director, and I sign the actors in every day, and so basically my job is to execute the show. And how long are your days, generally? Oh, God, they could bury judge. The rehearsals could be five hours that day. Tech day is always much longer. They could be 10 hours, 12 hours. So what was the agreement in terms of compensation? The agreement is in the contract that I signed, option one and option two. Option one states that I get $20 per hour per rehearsal. Option two is I get $100 per tech day. The tech days when we move into the theater. We did three tech days. That would be $300 and $100 for each performance day. That would be four performances. So that's $400, $300, $700. That's what I feel I'm not being paid. Now, you started working before all of this was put into writing. Correct, Judge. What happened is I just started because I've been doing this forever, good faith. The situation is when we got to go into the theater the week of Tech Week, I hadn't received my contract. So what happened is the co-director called our production manager. I finally received a contract via email a few days before we moved into the theater. And you signed it and you gave the contract to who? I did not give it to anyone because at that time, me and her weren't really... I'd been mistreated. She'd snap at me, embarrass me in front of the cast, so I kept my distance. Miss Ivy, are you in agreement with the terms as far as the plaintiff is laid out? I, I totally disagree. He didn't sign the contract because he was never officially hired. And I said, I've heard that you're capable, but you did not perform when you were hired in 2019. So I believe to show that he would do the right thing this time, he just began working. But in your answer, you said that you hired him on a probationary period. How long was this probationary period? You know, to be honest, with no work being done on his behalf, and I'm going to be very honest, I was overwhelmed and overworked. I was doing everything, and things were kind of like missing until one of the castmates said, you know, he needs to do his job because I'm helping you, and I'm a castmate. I can't help any longer. What was the probationary period? I didn't actually give, like, a probationary period. There was not, like, a... It just kind of, like, went past because I was working. Did you allow him to come on to set and work? I did. When we were at the first production meetings, I did. And that's what I paid him, if you'll look at exhibit. Here's my question. If you weren't pleased with his work ethic, then why not fire him? Your Honor, let me ask the answer that the best that I can to my ability. I was just present every day. He was mostly in the front taking pictures. If I can show you this, he was socializing. I honestly paid no attention. I was back there working. May I ask my witness to speak at this time, if Fine. she can assist me with that? Fine. Come up, please. Ms. Crenshaw, tell me how you were involved in this production. Okay, I was one of the actors uh, in the production. Okay. And he was okay when we was in rehearsal, but once we got to the stage, there was so much work to do, and she was just hustling, and there was nobody to help her, and he was walking around watching the star of the show. Oh, diva, 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 diva. He was just walking around following her all over the place, and, and he wanted to help her get dressed. And I was an old lady with a walker, and someone was supposed to help me onto the stage. And twice I almost fell over my walker trying to get over the stage, and he was nowhere there to help me when I got ready to get up. And one time, the curtain was about to open, and I'm running around looking for my walker. Someone to move my walker. He was nowhere in sight. Was this a consistent pattern? Almost every show.